So I just got back from family reunion in New Orleans, a big Keller Williams event, and I was uh, able to teach a class there, which is pretty cool for only being a realtor full time for a little over two years. <clears throat> and my class was about how to leverage your investing knowledge to help your clients in real estate sales. And I'm a real estate investor. Most of you probably know that if you're watching this right now. And then I became an agent. And I became the top producing agent in my office in my first year mainly because I know a lot about real estate and I help my clients the way that I would do it myself. If I was selling this house, if it was mine, or if I was trying to buy a house in your position, this is how I would do it. And people really like that. A lot of agents don't realize that people are coming to us wanting our direction and our advice. It's not just about the client saying, go do this and go do that. And what I realized is that really, this is the way it should work in any industry, right? Like there's the model that says, when I want to sell my house, I'll go find an agent to call and I'll interview three of them and I'll find the one I want. But you're still just kind of guessing that this person is actually going to do a good job. You have no way of knowing. Whereas if you already had a relationship with that person and you see that they're selling houses and you see the way they sell houses and you hear what other clients are saying and you hear them speak about it, you are way more likely to know you're going to have a good experience with that person which is why 80% of the business goes to the top 20% of realtors because they're the realtors that have done a good job with that. Well, anyway, here's the point. A lot of you listening to this are not real estate agents, which is good because then you're gonna use me and instead of doing it yourself. But you do other things that I would wanna use you for. You have businesses or you have expertise or you know something. Quit thinking of yourself as the person whose job it is is just to check a box or accomplish a task for somebody. Start thinking of yourself as a person whose job it is to learn everything you can about your field and be the expert people come to. So for example, in my speech at the Keller Williams event, I talked about how you wanna be seen as a mechanic and not a used car salesperson. You wanna be a person who people say, David, should I buy this car? Is this a good car? As opposed to the slimy salesperson that walks out and just wants to get you to buy any car. So we all trust the mechanic because we know they know cars. People trust me because they know I know real estate. So what do people trust you about? What is it you can do that will gain trust and how can you maximize that to improve your business?